knowledge, there are six old abandoned prisons in the United States that you can go to. And uh, I'm pretty familiar with those. And this is the most interesting in the world. And I'm including in that Alcatraz. Alcatraz is not as interesting as this place is. And we all know about Alcatraz already, but not too many people know about this prison and its history. This prison began its life in 1836. 1836. We received our first inmate. When I say 1836, most people think about the Wild West days. I saw you push the button and, and can you push the button and open the door? Uh -huh. There it goes. Uh -huh. picture. Usually the postscript tells you about them taking over that building. Uh, what most of them don't tell you is they killed an inmate just as they went in the door there of that building right after that picture was taken. Another photo that's pretty common is a picture of uh, a dead inmate being carried out of that building on a stretcher. A common photo makes that killed the other four inmates during the riot. And we prosecuted all of those for that, those murders and that are in it. So there's a lot of interesting pictures which you can relate to after being here today because you're standing in the midst of it. I mean, this is where the riot happened. One of the pictures is I, the National Guard had a machine gun with a sandbag around it. I notice if uh, the new guy had to see all the way down it. You didn't have to stay out in the sun, but I just wanted to see the size of this building. If any of you have been at Alcatraz or know anything about Alcatraz, you'll know that at its largest point, Alcatraz housed 304 inmates, was the most it ever housed at Alcatraz. I had 700 in this building. So I had over twice as many inmates as all of Alcatraz held in this one building. Now with that said, that building also represents something else that I want to explain to you. We house, and most maximum security prisons house three types or categories, I guess I'll call them, of inmates to group to deal with. I have to have a lot more staff for them than everybody else. Plus that, they're the biggest bunch of whining crybabies you have ever heard. They just complain about everything. Fortunately, I only ran like 130, 140 of those. But then you end up with the category that is the ones that, that I would have known on a first name basis. We are personally well acquainted. That's a group of people called administrative segregated people. This is the guy that when he came here, he probably never listened to a word his parents had to say. He never listened to his teachers in school. He never listened to a police officer on the street. He purposefully doesn't follow the law because he does what he wants to do in life and all those things, and so when he comes to prison, there is no reason to think that the day he walks in the door, he's reformed. Boy Floyd here, gangster from the point. 
We have a guy here you've never heard of, but you should have. His name is Adam Rochetti. Adam Rochetti was one of the responsible people for the Kansas City Massacre. Which if you're not online, you should read that. We executed Adam Rochetti here. Uh, who killed Martin Luther King Jr.? Jane Earl Ray did. I ask you that because Jane Earl Ray was a good name here. Jane Earl Ray escaped from here and went and killed Martin Luther King Jr. He was gone from here one year and one day when he killed Martin Luther King Jr. When they arrested him, he still had a very escape. Monday, I was arrested. Uh -huh. On Tuesday, they locked me in a jail. Oh boy! On a Wednesday, my trial was attested. On Thursday, they said guilty, and the judge's gavel fell. I got stripes, stripes around my shoulder. Got chains, chains around my around my shoulders them chains chains they are about to drag me down on a monday got my striped bridges uh -huh. on tuesday i got my ball and chain oh boy on a wednesday i was down there digging ditches on thursday lord i begged them not to knock me down again i got stripes stripes around my shoulders Got chains, chains around my feet. I got stripes, stripes around my shoulders. Them chains, chains, they are about to drag me down. On a Monday, my mama come and see me. Uh huh. On Tuesday, they caught me with a file. Oh boy. On a Wednesday, I was down in solitary. On Thursday, I started on bread water for a while. I got stripes, stripes around my shoulder. Got chains, chains around my feet. I got stripes, stripes around my shoulder. The chains, chains, they're about to drag me down. So, this is where they were kept. They, these people were so dangerous. And once again, this, out of our whole population, this was just a, a few guys that they, they, they put in eight cells. But these people were so dangerous that they didn't even open the doors to feed them or anything. They put food on a board and slid it under the door and put them to consume. Now they're sliding this into a dark room with a chamber pot and a bucket of water and straw. And that's the way these guys live.
Uh, here's the deal. As you can see, we've got cells here. There's another set just like them on the back side, but between these two rows of cells is the plumbing chase. You can see now they don't have a window in their cell, so we have these windows. This apparatus you see here is for us to put a crank in those boxes and just crank and we can open these whole tiers of windows all at one time to let air in or out of here depending on the weather. Uh, the little bees behind you, a lot of people ask what those are. Those are just to disperse the, the hot air during the winter that comes uh, out to heat the building. This building was what's called an R&O building. This building is where all the newly arriving inmates would have initially been assigned. So what we have is we have James Earl Ray, we bought a the whole crowd, everyone who lived in this building at one time. In fact, his son enlisted with our son enlisted. Uh, James Earl Ray lived with three cells from the Kingsbury County. Uh, so that's, that's the mechanics of this particular building. I just wanted to step in just to get a snapshot of it. But what I want to do now is tell you what we're going to do next. Next, we're going to the gas chain. Always going to have a bad sun angle. Every time we plan to do it. So these guard towers. Huh. Left turn you on the flash of the camera. the mayor, but he was out to lunch with 20 minutes to go. Now the sheriff said, boy, I'm going to watch you die. 19 minutes to go. So I laughed in his face and I spit in his ass. Got 18 minutes to go. Here come that preacher for to save my soul. Thirteen minutes to go. And he's talking about burning, but I'm so cold. I got twelve minutes to go. Well, they're testing the trap that chills my spine. With eleven more minutes to go. Oh, they're trapping the rope. Well, they work just fine. Got 10 minutes to go. Now I'm waiting for the party that'll set me free. With nine minutes to go. But this ain't the movie, so forget about me. I got eight more minutes to go. With my feet in the noose, my head in the 
a trap for me and my men to go. See the mountains, I can see the sky with three minutes to go. But it's too damn pretty for a man to want to die. Got two minutes to go. I can see the buzzards, I can hear them crows. One minute to go. Now I'm swinging! I hear the train to come, it's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen that sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in folds of truth. Time keeps dragging on. When I hear that train a rolling on down the sand and tone. When I was just a baby. Mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with guns. I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. That's right. Rich folks eating from a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it come. I know I can't be free. I see them people keep a moving, and that's what tortures me. Shot your woman down. Oh, yes, oh, yes, my name is Willie Lee. You got a warrant 
just read it to me.